Misty. I got a request a while back to show you how I cut my bangs. And currently, I just actually made this video like 30 minutes ago, but my camera died. But I didn't finish cutting my bangs, so currently my bangs are shorter, but they're not how I like them. So I'm going to just show you what I do, but now they're kind of, kind of closer to what I want. I got a haircut, and the guy, he did like a good job. Like My hair is shorter, and it feels really healthy, and it just looks nice. Well, I want it longer, obviously, but it looks like nice. And it's, but the only thing he did bad on was my bangs. Like, this area right here, it's really short. And I might have evened it out already, but look at this. It doesn't match this area right here. I don't know what he was doing, so I'm just leaving this area short and just cutting around it, like, waiting till this grows out. But I'm going to just show you what I do. Okay, so what I do to start off cutting my bangs is I section my hair off because like I don't want to cut the wrong area. Sorry, the camera is literally where I need to see so I might be looking past the camera. So you need to make sure you have what you need. Like I might leave a couple of long, short areas because I don't want to risk cutting everything. Because I tend to overcut sometimes. See like long pieces you need to take out. Okay, so I guess this is kind of, this is fine. This is what I'll be cutting. Let me see. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is putting my hair behind my ears. And if you catch any more long pieces, just put them to the side. Okay, so as you can see, my hair, my bangs aren't working today because they're a little wavy. So most people wet their hair when they do their bangs, but if I do that, it's going to make me think they're a certain length. When they're wet, they're, um, they are longer. So when you make, when you cut your bangs, they're going to be shorter once they dry. So I keep them dry. And then I restyle them afterwards. So I'm just going to take this. And basically all I do is just take scissors. I usually use better scissors, but I can't find them. And I cut in a little slanted, like slant. So I'm gonna just do that. So. Okay. Just cut off a lot of it. Just, I know you can't really see, I'm just cutting it in a slant right now. And you can always use your fingers to like even it out to know if you did this correct. So, as you can see, they're kind of slanted. Um, let's see, I might just do a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm just going to make them eat like nice and chopped for now. Okay, so that's like how short they are now, and that's a big difference from before actually. Uh, might be a little too short, but it's okay. See how much of a difference that is? Now, I don't like how chopped it is, so I'm going to be taking my scissors and I'm just going to be cutting up. You can do that slanting if you want, but I'm just going to cut up. And this will thin it out and make it less chopped up. Like, it'll make it more like different size pieces, which I like. And you can do this how many times you want, I just do until I feel pleased with it. Make sure to clean up afterwards, this is going to be a big mess. Okay. Uh, okay. Now you can see they're way, way, way shorter than before. You can already see they're better, like, even when they're not styled, they look better. So when they get too long for me, I can't push them back, and I always push my back, my bangs back. Okay, so I'm going to also show you how I style my bangs. So I'm going to go and wet my bangs, just my bang area, and I'll show you what I do. 
Okay, my bangs are wet. So if this was the morning, I'm just gonna show you what I would usually do. Because if I wash my hair in the morning, I would just take a bobby pin and I would leave it here. And I would let it dry for a little bit while I get, put my makeup on and then I would take it out and all I do is literally just keep pushing my hair back. That's all I do to style my hair and that's how I get that kind of flip here. But since I don't have that time, I'm gonna go and get my blow check. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just really just get it a little dry and then the rest I'm gonna do with my hands. Okay. okay guys, so as you can see, there's not, it'll be way different if I actually were to shower and have my hair just washed, but this is basically what I do, and I get this little tiny curve here, and once they grow out more, it'll look better, but since I just cut them, it's going to be like that, and now the little tiny pieces are blending better because of it's shorter, and that's how I cut and style my bangs. Um, I really just prefer to do it myself because, like I told you guys, I just got my hair cut a couple weeks back and they just did a bad job and it, they always just don't do it the way I like. It's just because I'm not good at describing it, I guess, but I just really like the way I can do it because I have full control. So, hold on. Let me see if I can show you better. So, basically that's it. Um, if you have any other questions about my hair, Please comment below. I know a lot of people want me to do a hair tutorial on my hair, but I don't do anything. Like, the only tip I can give you to make your hair look, I guess, wavy or shiny is use Garnier Fruit Tees um, Sleek and Shine. And what I do is when my hair is really wavy today because of, there was rain, but let's say there's some flyaways, I grab like a little handful and I'll, I got a little too much, but. I just like put it on the ends of my hair, never at the top because I don't want my hair to look greasy. And this actually makes me it easier for them to kind of get even wavier. So that's kind of just what I do if I really feel like making my hair wavy. And there's not much I do other than just like leaving it natural in the morning. I just let it air dry. But that's how I do my hair. And I hope you liked it. Bye.